This is Barbara Ellistad, Mesquite Citizen Journal, and we are at one of my favorite shopping places in Mesquite, the uh, Mesquite Fine Arts Gallery, and we have Linda Hot, um, Foss with us today, who is the outgoing president of the Virgin Valley Artist Association. You have about a month left before you uh, get to take a little vacation. Oh, that's right, Barbara. Um, but there's lots to do this month because we still have our Christmas boutique going on. And go that's why I'm here, and I've just glanced around, and my pocketbook is in danger. Oh, good. <laughs> we like to hear that. Um, we opened our boutique November 19th, and it will run through December 29th. So okay. any of our Christmas shoppers are welcome to stop in Monday through Saturday. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, and select some very nice one-of-a-kind gifts. Yeah. Uh, we have such a variety of things here. Uh -huh. uh, much more so than what you usually show in our gift shop because we feature beautiful craft items as well as fine art items when we have our Christmas boutique. Mm -hmm. And that makes it fun for everybody. Yes. Uh, we like to say we have a gift for everybody because I think as we go around you will definitely see that that is true. Okay. Um, All right. Well, let's, let's start, start right here. Okay. Um, these very unusual handmade wooden buttons were done by Chris Sinclair. Chris huh. is one of our newer vendors, and he and his wife Sally are terrific artists, each in their own right. And you can see how nice these would look on a beautiful knitted sweater yeah. or even as decoratives on handbags and other pieces of... Uh, um, accessories and clothing. Uh -huh. The craftsmanship is here is just phenomenal. Wow. Geraldine Zarati has brought us more of her miniatures and her jewelry. I had to laugh the other day when Geraldine said, I need to go home and bake some necklaces. <laughs> <laughs> she makes these polymer beads and bakes them and then oh. uh, forms them into beautiful strands of jewelry. Wow. So, but it is kind of funny to say you're going to go bake necklaces yeah. and earrings. She ha really has a lovely display here. Oh, I like those right there. Mm -hmm. Those are very unusual. Very pretty colors. Yeah. See, I told you my pocketbook's in trouble. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We like to feature some other things, too, for the people who want uh, some unusual gifts. Mm -hmm. David Bly may be gone from Mesquite, but he's certainly not forgotten because David wrote this book, Steps Along the Way, be, uh, actually before he came to Mesquite. It is a photo essay, a beautiful piece of work, and we um, are still selling David's book here. So anybody oh, nice. who would like to get a copy uh, can pick it up at the gallery. Yeah. We have some lovely pottery and sculpting. Oh, I love this bowl. Look at that. Oh, how rich. What a beautiful copper color. Yeah. Carol Ramsey is one of my favorite sculptors. Oh, Ooh. these little figures are made of clay. And look at the, the beautiful detail that she does, as yeah. well as doing uh, the other more functional pieces of pottery. Hmm. And speaking of functional, uh, functional, we have Wendy Umberger's beautiful pieces that she does on the wheel. And also the poured pieces of pottery that she uh, decorates. She does the, uh, the uh, glazing here, but these are poured. Oh. They're called greenware. Yeah. And this would be a wheel thrown uh, piece of pottery that uh, Wendy's an instructor for that over at the mm. pottery studio. Oh, this is oh, I love that dish right there. Very nice, <gasps> isn't it? Now, this is another oh. hand built piece. Um, Wendy's quite diverse, she does all of the different kinds of pottery, and you can find her over at the pottery studio for lessons. And as an example of having such reasonable prices on all of this. I have, just have to point out that this bowl right here is only $30. It's lovely. It you know, is. You aren't going to find that kind of pricing for such beautiful glazing yes. and hand forming any place. Absolutely. And that's what I like about coming here. I think all of your items are reasonably priced, um, especially for what you get. Um, mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. you were saying, if they're unique, they're one of a kind, they're handmade. Um, and for the prices, you just can't find a better 
buy anywhere else. So many of our um, vendors, our Christmas boutique vendors, also do custom work for people. Uh huh. So when people come in and see something that they like but would like a different color, oh okay. Uh, whether it's jewelry or pottery, um, many of these things can be arranged directly with our artists. And this is so unique. Isn't it pretty? Look at the swirl. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, a beautiful metallic finish. Yeah. And what a nice way to show off your potpourri on the, the, uh, card, uh, the coffee table. Mm-hmm. Oh, and more jewelry. necklaces. Jewelry. Ooh. We have lots of jewelry makers who come to our boutique because this is a great time of year for that little extra piece of finery to go with your winter outfits. Um, lots of earrings, lots of necklaces, lots of different kinds of pendants, uh, beautiful stoneware, mm -hmm. and um, just something for everybody. Now, be sure to point this pair of earrings out when my husband comes in, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, he better come in soon because it seems like every time I pick out something I want, it goes out the door before I have a chance to pull out my pocketbook. Yeah. Now these are just beautiful, elegant pieces of jewelry, these necklaces. Mm -hmm. Oh my they goodness. They are. Oh. Lots of different types of pendants. Mm -hmm. They will really set off a variety of necklines. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, and I recognize this. Yes, these you are do. All, Hold on one moment. These are all Coco's yes. uh, vases and pottery works. Oh. How's that? <gasps> a little more light on the subject. Oh. These are Coco's night lights. Um, that are beautiful for a TV backlight or perhaps a little night light um, in the bedroom or bathroom. Uh -huh. um, nicely done. These are all done hand formed. Coco teaches at our pottery studio. And just to let you know, her item that was very similar to this that she brought in last year was critiqued by Richard Zakin, who is a world known potter. Mm -hmm. And he was very complimentary of Coco's work. So you can always find something that's really um, top quality here. Oh, yeah. I, and I love her work. I do too. Would you like a small miniature um, painting of a horse, perhaps? Aren't these beautiful? Oh, that this would be Tammy wonderful for even a child. Absolutely. Tammy Simon's work. She is a horse lover from day one and really has some lovely pieces of artwork here uh, depicting her favorite topic. Mm -hmm. Now see, this would be me with a horse <laughs> right there. <laughs> I'd be lucky to get that far with a horse. <laughs> Colin Warren is featuring his, oh, um, yeah. his CDs. Colin is one of our favorite guys. Isn't he uh, here tonight at the gallery? Yes, he is. He's doing um, a concert here at the gallery this evening on November 30th to uh, um, entertain us, and it's a fundraiser for the gallery. We're so grateful that he does a fundraiser like this for us every year. Mm-hmm. And here's one of our longtime vendors here at the gallery, Beautiful Woodworking by Joe Kirby. Mm, it is. just can't beat it. He has some really cute things like puzzles, um, candlesticks, little uh, jewelry boxes. So beautifully made with such nice wood. Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, I like those candlesticks. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Very dramatic. Oh, and here we have Mike Argyle. Mike it, is world famous now because ah. he is the man who designed the little wooden nickel that was given away at oh, the Gold yes. Butte Festival days. Yes. Um, so he's he uh, has brought us a number of his items that are both Christmas and uh, just beautiful little, uh, pieces of artwork that are certainly sat uh, satisfactory for displaying all year round. Oh, beautiful, boy. beautiful work. This is laser cutting. And Mike designs this and then does all of the woodworking by laser. Wow. Very interesting process. We don't have anybody else that does that for and, us. And again, um, reasonable prices. That Absolutely. piece is only $48 for all of that intricate work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
another potter. This is uh, Carly Prestwick. Carly is a college student. She's putting herself through college up at um, uh, SUU in Cedar City. And um, the sale of her pottery helps pay her tuition. So, ah. um, now, is this all uh, oven safe, dishwasher yes, it safe? Is. Yeah, these okay, things I'll are, take one. <laughs> these things are food safe. As long as they're dishwasher safe. Oh, yes. <laughs> Gotta be. <laughs> Now, new to the gallery, and oh. uh, something we haven't featured before is uh, Mark Bradshaw's wonderful uh, leather tooling. Look at this beautiful oh, little saddle. Wow. Now, what cowboy wouldn't want that on his uh, mantle? Yeah. Just a cute piece. And it's a lovely handbag for Look the that. cowgirl. Yeah. Ooh. You don't have to be a cowgirl to appreciate that. Yeah, no kidding. That is beautiful. Terry MacArthur has brought us some oh. very unique pieces of jewelry. People know mm. Terry for her lovely and very innovative work. Um, she calls it silk and stone and um, very, very unusual. Sometimes she uses polymer to make pendants mm -hmm. and in this case nearly everything here is wrapped silk. Oh man, that is beautiful. Oh. Now here's one of our favorites, Jan Stensland. Well known for taking objects you would never expect and making beautiful art out of it. That's right. Um, she's probably our most famous <coughs> artist in recycled art. Um, here she has brought us a collection of angels and some crosses and a beautiful set of bud vases. How about this little wall hanging? Too? Oh, isn't that cute? I don't think that joy has to be put away after Christmas. Uh uh, no. Not a bit. No. Not a bit. That, you can leave that out year round. Yeah. Oh, I Judy like Judy Husner. These. Judy's one oh. of our really fine painters, and at Christmas time she brings us some nice, unique gifts. She has done some uh, glass painting this year, uh, some uh, pressed paperwork some taper holders made out of these beautiful cut pieces of agate. Ooh. They're geodes, slices mm -hmm. of geodes. And she has some nice satin hand dyed scarves and a huge collection of uh, neckwear. I oh. call them neckwear because they're fluffy yarn, yeah. but they have terrific pendants attached too. So, I don't know that you'd really call them just a necklace. They're more than that. Yes. Beautiful stones. Ooh. See, very unique gifts. Mm hmm Okay, then when my husband comes in, be sure to direct him to those scarves, too. I have a scarf finish I think lately. it'll be a magnet for him. 